The fourth segment deals with the present unrest. Where do we go from here? The issues are so complicated. I'll direct a series of quick statements and question form to both Rabbi Kahana and Rabbi Greenberg. And here Rabbi Kahana will be responding. Rabbi Kahana will be responding first. Do the recent demonstrations indicate that Israel has been too soft or too hard on the Palestinian Arabs? I kind of can guess the answer to that. Are Israeli soldiers overreacting or are their lives being endangered by a government policy that demands too much restraint? Do Jews accustomed to being victims feel guilt when seeing Jewish soldiers defend themselves? Should the media be barred during the present unrest as they instigate the rioters, as recently pointed out by no less than Henry Kissinger? Should Israel care about what the government thinks, and what the American government thinks, as they react to this or other crises? Some American Jewish leaders have criticized Israel as having lost its soul. Does such criticism encourage more rock throwers, more violence, and further jeopardize Jews living in Israel? Should there be some limits on dissent of American Jews? Do you believe, Rabbi Kahana and Rabbi Greenberg, that criticism of Israel by American Jewish leaders is part of a real, deep, legitimate ethical struggle? Or is it fear? Fear that the image of Israeli soldiers beating attacking rioters will jeopardize the security of Jews here? Or is it the criticism, or is this, this criticism, American Jewry's way of saying, America is the new Zion. It is the better place for Jews to live in as America is more moral and more ethical than Israel. And finally, where do we go from here? Does this teach us that Israel should be ready to compromise on Judea, Samaria, and Gaza? Or the reverse? Should Israel respond by creating more settlements, as it did today, and by incorporating Judea, Samaria, and Gaza? After all, these proponents claim Flexibility and compromise with the Arabs, whose way of thinking is very different from the Western world, has always encouraged the Arabs to want war. Which is it? I think I said that Israel has no policy. It doesn't know what it's doing. The riots began, they shot the Arabs, and the world protested, so they started to beat them up. The world protested, so they stopped beating them up, and they started to, to stall them. The world protested, and now apparently they were shooting them again. The years I've said, I don't want to beat Arabs, I don't want to shoot Arabs, I don't want to starve Arabs. Had we moved them out of the country 20 years ago, they would be alive and well in Jordan. <laughs> I serve in the army. I know what the malls are. How easy it is for Rabbi Schindler to sit on his $200,000 a year and lose salary and to babble about it. The Zion is, this is not my Zion is green. This Zion is green from uh, Westchester. <laughs> Woody Allen is a poor. If he knew how poor we are, Woody Allen. <laughs> Another great expert on the Middle East, having produced the Purple Rose of Cairo. <laughs> <laughs> not by Schindler, not by Hertzberg, and we got out of the head, and the Theodore Mann and the American Jewish Congress and the American Jewish Committee, bouncing about what Israel should do. 
and saying it isn't nice. They're only throwing stones. They're only throwing stones. Three weeks ago, a delegation of Israelis was here, victims of Arab terror. Among them was the mother of Esther Ahmed. The Shul, the Shul, the Yet, the Shul. Esther Ahmed was a 20 year old young woman. She was driving through the Haria, an Arab village. Stones are thrown. A stone hit her in the head and she died. The stone somehow missed its calling. It wasn't, it wasn't supposed to have killed us. There were stones don't kill. This past week, a settler, the Shulam Muscles, was hit in the head by a stone. He's, he's critical. Even if he survives, he may not ever be any more than a vegetable. What are we babbling about over here? Stone. And we have these same orders. You can't shoot here, you can't shoot there, you can't shoot there. What are we talking about? If you give a soldier a gun, let him use the gun. <laughs> My answer is to throw them out. And that's the most humane and the most ethical, because if you don't do that in two years, you're watching on CBS and on ABC, Peter Jennings, talking about how Israeli soldiers are shooting Arabs in the gallery. To the media media board, you had better believe that the media is going to be guarding my prime minister. You had better believe <laughs> They will receive briefings every single morning at the King David Hotel. And if they're not happy, they'll be told that the waiting wall is 10 minutes around the corner. <laughs> what the U.S. thinks? On the day that we begin to worry about what the U.S. thinks on that day, we dig the grave of Israel. I want to tell you something. For years, Jews have been practical to worry about what America thinks. America is not our ally. America backs Israel out of self-interest. Out of self-interest and only out of self-interest. And on the day that we forget that, that is the day we will bury Israel. I don't care what America thinks. I want Israel to survive. We expelled nine Arabs. Nine Arabs in the world went crazy. For the same money, we could have expelled nine Arabs. <laughs> of course, America gives us its money. You're right. But we give America things too. America doesn't support us because it is the only democracy in the Middle East. That goes over a world of Hadassami. But. In real life, you give and you get, and we give as much as we get. What does the hyphenated base go to the U.S. Sixth Fleet? What is the fact that the uh, Negev right now is a storage ground for tons of U.S. weapons? What is that worth? What is it worth when we fly F-16 planes in real combat and show the Americans what's wrong? What is that worth? If it isn't worth anything, then don't give us money. If it is, then shut up and we're equal partners. They are liberals, and they're also Jews, and sometimes that is a contradiction. And when it is, you had better believe that Alexander Schindler always will be the liberal. That is a tragedy. He should not be a Jewish leader.